It's a Chamber of Commerce Day here on the campus of East Carolina University here in Greenville, North Carolina. And our matchup today between the Thundering Herd of Marshall and the Pirates of East Carolina is brought to you in HD by LG. He has a quick, quick release. Take a look at the pump fake that he's going to deliver and get the corner to bite. Now, a lot of six foot four, six foot three quarterbacks can't make this throw, but he gets the ball down, is able to release quickly and put it right on the money to Wilkins for the touchdown. This is a special quarterback. And of course, he's got some pretty good receivers going in. A quintet of receivers who are outstanding, notably Wilson and Dobson. They love to spread it around and throw it to the end zone. 32 touchdowns for Rakeem Cato. And certainly, Todd, the East Carolina defense has got their hands full. And it's 15 gone in the opening quarter. Three wide up top. They give it off to Cooper. Breaks one tackle, but he will not break that tackle. He was dropped in good fashion by Devin Arrington. And Rakeem Cato, here is our quarterback profile brought to you by Sonic. And there's not enough room, Todd, to put all he's done this season on one graphic. Well, those of you that are uh, video game savants are going to enjoy, if you've got the Nintendo mentality about numbers, you're going to enjoy this game because number 12 puts up some serious numbers. I would describe their offense this way. If you haven't seen it, it's probably like a hockey game on a football field. They love to go up-tempo. Cato has got time, fires, man open, it's caught at the 38-yard line, and they get him down near the 45-yard line. Survey the field. So here goes Cato on the offense. They have a stable of backs and a nice piece of running right there. And they pick up a nice chunk of yardage. Third downs, Marshall is unbelievably good on third down, but Thompson made the tackle there, but they're gonna get the first down. Third and 12, can they convert again? Cato. With time now, had the duck down, finds Talaferro on the outside. Does he oh get there? Goodness, what, what a, a play. burst! What a burst! They get it again, 14 on the play, Todd. <laughs> you know what, Ben? I'm looking at a five-yard game. I, I, I don't know what I don't know what his 40 time is, but I'm guessing his 10 time has got to be absolutely rapid. Watch right here on the sidelines here quickly when he cuts a bat. Okay, we're gonna run him out. No, he turns up field, goes north and south. One of the advantages of being a uh, that's, that's difficult, despite the fact that, you know, you're vertically challenged. It's difficult for a defense. Hard to find him. Cato gets out of the would-be tackler of the nose guard. Mikhail Brooks to the end zone. Up to make the catch! They got it! The Thundering Herd gets the touchdown. Coming through there was that man, Aaron Dobson. Well, I tell you what, Leonard Paul, for whatever reason, lost focus. There's really no excuse for that one to be a touchdown. He just threw it up. Cato buys time with his feet and just throws it up, hoping for the best, and that's exactly what happens. Paul here at the very last set. Coach McNeil is quite proud of that. He really is, and here they go with their second series as Ventavious Cooper did not get much. In fact, he's going to lose a yard on that carry as Jermaine Holmes made the tackle. First and goal from the three-yard line. Here is Ventavious Cooper. Can he get out there? No. Good speed on the outside by the herd. And a host of Marshall tacklers taken down, led by Alex Bazzi. Here's Rakeem Cato. The catch made at the 30. A broken tackle. And a good job by Chip Thompson to come over and clean up and finish the play on Craig Wilkins. He picked up eight. And backs him up to a first and 15 now from the 23. And Marshall not fooled on this particular play. Nice job to get to the football quickly there by Marcus Aiken. Screened, as they say, was Webster. Keep it on the ground and a nice job by Marshall's front. Cato, quick throw, and they pick up a nice chunk here on a first down play, about eight yards on the play to Jazz King. Up there right back in the game. Critical series for the herd. Cato to the air. It is caught as Jazz King there at the 39 yard line made the catch. Cato hands off. Talaferro got breaks through. Gets to the third level. He's popped and dropped, but a big gain. That's not their MO by any means. Here goes Cato. This is their MO. He's got Schuler. Oh. I beg your pardon. That's Dobson into the end zone. It was Schuler. I apologize. Schuler into the end zone. He's lightning quick, and they get in there in a hurry, and it's 28-13 on a 24-yard play. 10.4, 10.6, eh, I'm not so sure. That's kind of a possession guy. Instead, you see here, now watch when, he, watch when he catches this ball. 
Watch when he catches this ball and gets across the field. He's just so, so quick, just so quick. Here he is again, just to the left, just to the left, right there. There's that different gear. And then when he plants his foot, you anticipate that he's going to get tackled at the six. Instead, he's able to get in, and Cato says, all right, it's about time. That's what we got going on. It's more Touchdown. like it. Yep. With the gloves going there from Rakeem Cato and Tommy Schuler with his fifth touchdown catch of the season. 96 catches coming in, man alive. Good guys up front, you can't have a good team without guys on the O and D line. Here goes Carton down the middle, deep ball, some contact, and he was double teamed. And that was Okaroa down there on the coverage as Carden went for the home run. Great job of having ball anticipation on the part of Okaroa. This is a this is a well thrown ball. Okaroa is in on it as well as Lovett. Biggest play of the game thus far for the Pirates. Marshall back on the attack. At least they hope. Rakeem Cato tucking and running to the 35. Forced out. Stewart Butler in the backfield next to Cato, and Butler's got it. Butler big hole right side across midfield. And he broke many of Chris Rainey's records at Lakeland High School. Chris Rainey playing for the Steelers in the NFL. Catches made. It's, it's different though when you're at home. It, it, it certainly is. The travel it, it, it certainly is a deterrent. Thank you, Evan. We appreciate it. Cato now to the air. Forced out of bounds. After a nine yard play is Aaron Dobson. Thundering her to Marshall. Cato fakes, fires, caught Schuler. This kid can fly, folks. We saw him do it earlier. And he is corralled and dropped inside the 10 yard line. And goal from the eight yard line. Cato fakes, spins away. In trouble, fires down low. And they say oh, it's a man. touchdown. They say it's a touchdown. And Tavius Wilson on the receiving end of it. Well, this is this is an interesting variation of what you might call a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> you know, that, that fake on the fade. Very interesting. Now, decide for yourselves here where the ball is in relation to the ground. Does he get his hands underneath it? Yeah, from that vantage point, it looks like it pops up into his chest and his hands are underneath. Of course, I'm considerably generous as a former pass catcher, but it appears to me <laughs> like it's a touchdown. I already had that catch on the last possession. And Marshall's defense here, Tom. From the 40-yard line. Line continuing to give Cardin time. Dumps one off. Here's a catch in. Oh, that's a good open field tackle. It really is. And it's a nice tackle made right there by DJ Hunter. On fourth down, they need a yard. Cardin gives off. Cooper didn't get it. They got him for about a two and a half yard loss, and Marshall not fooled at all. Alex Bazzi got him. Time out and then make a decision. You don't exactly have the same people you want on the field. And on the outside, you've got two different guys in that situation that come in completely unblocked, including Arrington. They just stuffed him in the hole. He had no shot. Well, that stopped. Next to Cato. Cato finding his man. That's. Jazz King, he was wrapped up and dropped, but they get the first down. Surprise, surprise, they convert on third and two. For that body language, now Marshall's got things going. Cato slings one, open man, no problem. Trying to get free from Jenkins. And picking up a couple of more was Demetrius Evans. He got 11, another first down for the herd. Backs him up to the 41-yard line. Second and 24 now. Rakeem Cato steps up, dumps it off over the middle. Talaferro breaks a tackle, still going. Spins away inside the 20, and he nearly got the first down. He got 21 Todd on second down. A wise decision on the part of the quarterback, Cato, just to dump the ball off and let one of your runners do the business. You could see that he wanted to take off. Gets the ball to Talaferro, breaks a couple of tackles. Now they're in the red zone. Two timeouts left. Here's a pass caught over the middle. Get it free into the end zone. And the herd strikes again, an 18-yard play. Schuler with his second touchdown reception. It's too late for East Carolina.
to say to themselves, we're second guessing ourselves on going for it on fourth and one. But I can tell you this regarding Cato, that young man has a gun for an arm. That was a very small window. Or at 100 catches, and here was the last on his resume. Look at that between the two defenders. Just zips that through. And, and Schuler, of course, I, I'm guessing that having been high school teammates, they have the kind of rapport where they can deliver those sorts of passes into those very, very tiny windows. Ball. Marshall in the third quarter has scored 123 points as they find Jazz King, and he moves the chains again. Take the handoff, and Jazz King continues to help him completely untouched sometimes he just can't get to the quarterback because he's so quick here is Schuler using a block from Evans to pick up a couple of more on third down Cato's five for five on the drive trying to make it six for six looking fires got a man caught inside the 15 yard line and it was a nice grab made there by Aaron Dobson for the goal Joaquin Cato, the sophomore, fires, touchdown Marshall! A two-yard play, and it's an easy pitch and catch as Antavius Wilson finds the end zone. Five touchdown throws in this game. He's thrown for over 300. Adding to it here, dumping it over the middle to Esray Talapar. The ball came loose, but it went out of bounds. Trying to shake oh, it off. Nice punt. Oh, Beautiful punt. Oh. Terrific punt, and they're going to down oh, this thing inside goodness. the five and about the one, Todd. Oh, how excited can you be? Man, oh, man. Oh, Williams. You could not have asked for better than that in terms of not only not only just the punt, but getting a little bit of momentum, a 61-yarder down at the one. Man, in one season. And he's only a sophomore. Pressure coming. Carden gets away for the time being, but he's dropped. At the about the 22 yard line by Jermaine Holm in. Marshall trying to use the time they've got right now. Here's Tyler Farrell. Good run. Got a first down. Gets by the stick by a couple of yards. Yep. Up top there, the storylines that are at stake. Marshall needs a win to become bowl eligible. And to have that strange look on his face. Yep. Here's a pass thrown inside the five. Great job to get the feet down by Schuler. 14, I think that one would have been good on Sunday. Got them both in. And, and Fronapple now does have his confidence. I love this comparison. These yeah. sophomores, Pennington, Leftwich, and Cato. I mean, it's pretty impressive. All the way across. Then you get to the right, and it's like, wow. Well, in addition to being quarterbacks, you, you could argue that these are three of the toughest guys to ever play at Marshall. Shane Carden. And a sidestep attacker took a shot. Ball came loose. But East Carolina's there. And it gone by in the fourth quarter. East Carolina can't get rid of the ball. Carden is dropped. Next level meeting the NFL. First down, firing, and it's caught. At the 42-yard line, that's Schuler. That's a another Marshall first down. Different looks to number 15. Yep. Confuse him, getting his face. Fires caught again by Schuler, and he's hit, dropped at the 48. Something down, and we'll call it a long three. There's Darrell Thomas. They thought they had him in front apple. He breaks out everyone in the joint and takes it in. Blake front apple all the way to the house. And Marshall's got the lead back, a 51-yard run. Well, if you're the defensive end, you're saying to yourself, well, you know what? They're going with that zone read. Okay, we've seen that a couple of times. There's no way some dude 6'6", six, six, two and a quarter is going to pull that thing out and go. That's exactly what happened. Fooled everybody in the place. There for number 15. You know what? I'll fake it. Uh, he's got one. No, wait a minute. He's got it. He's going the distance, number 15. Six points. Thundering. Heard. But take a look at the quarterback here. The block on the outside linebacker enables him to have a gap, but the inside linebacker, in this case, it's Ty Holmes, is going to take two steps to his left, and that's going to create a gap. Note in the secondary, they go with the runner, and that also creates a gap on the second level for Fronapple, who shows surprising speed for somebody as angular he is, as he is. It's just six foot six, two and a quarter. And right there, he gets to that next level, and everybody's surprised. We can't believe that he has the football, but he does. And as a result, with 11 minutes and 12, 12 seconds remaining in this game, 
The Marshall thundering herd. You don't have to throw. <laughs> you don't have to throw to a car tire. You can more use a tractor tire, right? <laughs> good, good wingspan here, and now they'll throw it again. They get it to the outside. Bullet now reverses direction, trying to get free to the 45. He's greeted and dropped there. And with Raheem Cato unable to finish this game, they put it up now. Pardon trying to give his team the lead back. He's dropped though. Tough run. Took some shot at that side of the field. He's at the 19-yard line. A rushing three. Yep, Carden fires and out a dangerous throw as they were looking for Justin Hardy and Derek Thomas, his counterpart, number two, was there to break it up. And let's give credit where credit's due. Thomas does a great job of getting out there to make a play. Thomas, remember, has been victimized a lot by Hardy today, but he gets his hand in there just enough. Got a gift. Yep. And Schuler's got it, and he's got the first down on the far sideline. Nearly 54%. Can they do it here? They get it done. Out to the 49. Wilson's got it. They'll move the sticks as Armstrong made the tackle again of six. Right at midfield. Best center downs. Tal Farrell gets away. He's got speed out there, and he's upended. Picked up nearly. They did it a season ago against East Carolina at home, but they've never won here. A lot of room for Talaferro. He is dropped at the 25-yard line. He picked up 16 as Magazoo made the stop. And this is what we're talking about in terms of his ability to pull the ball out. He doesn't pull it out. Look at the gap in the middle of the field, and look at the defensive lineman just get pushed around. Second and six. He's got it, does the six-foot-six six freshman. They are in the red zone and out of the gun. Throne apple fires. Man there, easy catch, and they'll get him. Magazoo will finish him off. All that time has elapsed again. Here they go, and Talaferro, he's in there. Touchdown, Marshall. That's right, Talaferro takes it in on the left side, and Marshall is up by six again. It's 51-45. And let's not forget that this drive has been engineered by a freshman quarterback who threw, who was six for eight coming into this game. Thrown apple fires down to get it. And oh, that's, that's clutch. That is a big time catch by guess who, Tommy Schuler. You know, we talked about the fact that a number of people would have to deliver for the young quarterback. Schuler does just that. What a difference here, fourth and one versus fourth and eight, and gets his hands underneath. And they've got to get this player. They have so no really. shot. And they give it to Talaferro. He jukes and jives his way in there. They just got back to the line of scrimmage. Throne apple fires, catches made. And they're going to get him down inside the five. And UCF loses tomorrow. Throne apple with time. Fires. It's caught. Touchdown, Marshall. Wilson with the touchdown. East Carolina 65, Marshall 59 in two overtimes. For Evan Washburn, Todd Christensen, all of our hard work and crew, we appreciate their efforts. My name is Ben Holden. Certainly hope you enjoy the broadcast.